This is LNURLSpares.com. I'm Scott Erlin here with newly hired athletic director Matthew Green here to introduce you and just spend a little time with you and get to, you know, maybe let our fans get to know you a little bit better. Uh, wanted to be, you know, one of the first to officially welcome you here and we're excited to have you. Um, let's just talk a minute. You know, you've been spent the last six years or so at Shorter and you've had a, a eclectic mix of experiences there. You know, what was it in particular about Lincoln Memorial University in this department that might have attracted you? Well, I think it's the people. Uh, we were able to do some great things at Shorter because of the people that we had, the coaches, the staff, the student athletes. And when I came on campus here at Lincoln Memorial, I found that same thing, just great people working as a team, pulling together to accomplish great things. So I'm excited to get to work. Yeah, and, and, a, and you know, I don't know how well it's known, but how well it's documented that Shorter went through a transition from the NAI to the NCAA Division II, and, and you really kind of spearheaded that effort in a lot of ways, and we're, and we're so involved in that. And, and how do you think that your involvement in, to that degree, with that transition at Shorter has prepared you for your job here? Well, it gave me a lot of experience in a lot of different areas. Uh, so we had to pull the entire campus together, uh, from athletics to financial aid, the registrar's office, the president's office, admissions. Uh, so it gave me a lot of experience dealing with a lot of different entities on campus, building relationships, developing those relationships, and uh, so I think it's prepared me well for this for this position. And looking over your resume, one of the things that I noticed is just how varied your job has been, how many different kind of hats you've worn in an athletic department. You started as a sports information director, which I can relate to, work up, you're still involved in that area, the compliance at Shorter. Right. just wore so many so many hats and then you work up to the senior associate athletic director at Shorter and even served as an interim most recently and uh, just you know how how is all of those experiences kind of culminated to to give you you know also to maybe prepare you for the job as an actual athletic director now well it's given me an appreciation for every part of a department uh, and what they can bring to the overall goals uh, and so I appreciate sports information I appreciate compliance athletic training, uh, strength and conditioning. I appreciate all of those entities as part of the athletic department and what they can contribute. Everyone's important. You've got to have great people in all of those different areas. And uh, so I'm looking forward uh, to bringing all of those entities together here at Lincoln Memorial. You know, and something else that I noticed, and, and we talked about this a little bit off camera, was and one of the most invaluable assets I think you bring is your involvement with women's lacrosse. You <laughs> yes. helped kind of spearheaded that effort with the first NAI ever uh, women's lacrosse league. You know, and it's lacrosse is a newborn baby here. It's in its second year, and you're gonna, and you know, you're gonna be able to bring a lot of insight into that sport. I mean, just can you elaborate maybe on those experiences with that sport? Well, it was a great experience that I had. Uh, Shorter started women's lacrosse five years ago, had nowhere to play, so we decided to create a conference, create a league, and and right now it's very successful. Over 20 teams, uh, we we're fortunate enough to be able to start that. And lacrosse is an exciting game. I know you all had a little bit of an experience with it last year and, and are looking to grow it this, this coming year. And the men's and women's games are a little bit different, uh, but it's a very marketable sport. It's an exciting sport. And so I look forward to bringing some expertise there. I know you've, uh, this has been a really quick process, you know, just from the interview process. And then here you're getting pulled a million different directions. But just with the limited knowledge base you have right now and you've acquired about Lincoln Memorial University and what this department works with, kind of, you know, what is kind of your vision to how to take this program to the next step? Well, you mentioned it. I mean, the, the programs here are, are very good. Uh, there's a tradition of success here. Um, I think everybody wants to go from good to great. Uh, so it's going to be establishing those relationships with the coaches that we have, with the people in the community. One thing Lincoln Memorial has going for it is a very engaged board and president. Uh, they really support athletics. Uh, financially, they support athletics. So there's opportunity there to capitalize on some support and really take this thing to the next level. Great, it starts with great coaches, great student athletes, great staff members, so I'm excited to get to work with those entities. You know, last question I'm gonna ask you and then we'll get you out of here. I know you got a busy day, but you've made really a meteoric rise through the athletic department. You know, just eight years ago, you graduated student athlete at Hamden Sydney, and now you're here as an AD. Uh, have you ever, have you, I know that a lot has happened in the last week, but have you had time to sit down and reflect and, and look back on all, everything that brought you to this moment where you're here now? Well, I've been very fortunate to work for some great people. Um, I've got a, a fantastic wife. She's so supportive. Um, I've had an opportunity to work for a great athletic director at Shorter, uh, work with some great coaches. I've been able to get a lot of experiences in a short amount of time. So um, I understand how fortunate, how blessed I am for this opportunity. I will not take it for granted looking forward to getting to work and everybody's got to have that first job and so I'm just fortunate that my first job came at 30 years old. 
Well, Matt, I know for one that, that I'm incredibly excited to get started working with you. And uh, everyone out there, you'll be seeing Matt Green around a lot. He'll be at all our sporting events. Look forward to starting it with you this year. Thanks, Thanks for sitting down with us.